Hello and welcome back to tutorial 120 and uh, what we're doing is creating an average true range plot of the daily bar on a 60 minute chart and in the first part of the tutorial what I did was set up the price series provider and uh, showed you a couple of techniques there now what we're going to do is continue the program and we're going to be doing the actual calculation for the ATR. Now, if you're not familiar with how to do that calculation, it's very easy to go to the TradeStation program and you can see the nuts and bolts, but we're going to do it slightly differently because uh, we, we're using the PSP data. So I'm going to go calculate ATR. The first thing I'm going to do is we're going to say sum to TR is zero, TR being true range. Now we're going to get into the AT, the uh, PSP. So we're going to need to make sure that there is enough data to start with. So we're going to say if PSP.count is greater than ATR length, then begin. And we're going to be using a counter to make sure that we go back the user input number of bars. So we're going to be going it for ATR counter equals zero to ATR length which is the length of the ATR that we're putting in as user input, minus one, because this is a zero base count. And we need to grab three bits of data. We need to know the, the daily bar high, and we get that by going PSP dot high. And then we, we, yeah, we're getting it for the counter. Okay, we're gonna do something very similar for the daily bar low equals PSP so this time it's low and we're going to be using the ATR counter again just going to copy that and then the final thing we need is the the called it daily C it's actually close for yesterday and that is going to be equal to PSP dot close and it's ATR counter but this time it's ATR counter plus one like so okay having got that data we need to find out what the the true high is to true high. Now, in the program that's available for download I've added uh, more comments uh, make it a little bit easier to follow but uh, so we're saying if daily C that's the close of the previous bar is greater than daily high H then true high is equal to daily C else true high is equal to the what we've called daily bar high or daily bar H similar for the true low in fact what I'm going to do is just copy this and we can just modify it so we're saying if daily C is less than daily low sorry daily bar L then true low is equal to daily C else true low is equal to daily bar L like so then the true range it's quite easy now to calculate it is simply TH minus TL like so and what we also need to do is sum that so we're going to say sum true range is equal to true range plus what the, uh, the sum TR was when we last did the calculation. In other words, part of our for statement. We end that and we can then work out the average true range is equal to the sum TR, the sum of the true ranges divided by the ATR length, like so. And then we can end that and we can finally plot the average true range like so now as i say the program available for download slightly different in uh, in various respects uh, but this is the the bare bones so i'm gonna see if or how many errors we've made okay so i can see one there straight away that should be daily bar h that should be plot one or two or three. Um, okay, it's verifying. So let's just make sure it's doing the calculation correctly. Now, the program, um, I'm just gonna double click on that. We wanna make the scaling the right access subgraph two, 
like so. And you can see that it's uh, plotting the average two range. And it's saying that that is currently 14.15. And if we look at the daily, you'll see it calculates as 14.15. So um, what you'll also notice, for example, um, here on the 21st, it's saying the ATR was 15.4. Whereas here you'll see that same information, 15.4, on the 20th. And that's because the um, the calculation, we didn't actually know for sure what the ATR was until the end of the day. And that's reflected on the 60-minute, the um, till the end of the day on the 60-minute chart. So that's why you'll see that slight apparent difference in dates. Okay, so I hope uh, you might find this useful. And um, bear in mind that with the PSP, there potentially are some slight differences in price data and uh, also potential problems with synchronization, although I've not had that problem with this particular program, but uh, always worth looking out for. Anyway, uh, thank you again.